He's not wearing a swimsuit. You didn't give the hand puppet a swimsuit? What are you doing? What's going on, my fellow knights? My name is Gallant Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back in Daisy's Doggy Diner roleplay in Roblox. And as you can already see, or as you may already know, there has been a huge update to the game. Uh, the map, the spawn, there's a bunch of characters, new game passes, new badges. There's a lot of stuff we have to cover. Uh, and we're going to be doing that in this video. We're going to be getting all the badges and checking out most, if not all, of the updates. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. And whenever you're buying Robux, make sure you use star code Gallon. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and start off with the lobby. Uh, it's way different than what it was. Also, I really like this right here. The city dogs. All the animatronics are chilling back there dancing. We got the creators right here. Uh, update board, of course. And you can go ahead and buy the game passes right here. The new one is only 10 Robux. The other one is 20. And actually, uh, here's the event room right here. Fun under... Wow, why did I struggle to say fun? Fun under the sun event. New limited time game pass for you to buy. All right, so let's go ahead and check out all these new animatronics. Here's the original four. They're still here. Uh, there is some really cool group morphs. Uh, so I highly recommend you join that. Look, there's a zombie king. There's Zippy Purple. Uh, I am not in the group. I completely forgot about it. So we won't check those out. Uh, but here is the extra characters one. As we can see, the old pass was only these two right here. And now we have a blue Spider-Man. We have that. And we have Springlock Foxy, it looks like. Uh, so, you know what? Let's check him out. Let's see what they got. So here is Spring Foxy. I'm assuming that's what his name is. Uh, Gold Fang. Sorry. Sorry. Whoops. My bad. Uh, he has a Perform. And we have a Deactivated. That is really cool. That is really scary. Ah, my shoes are untied. That's what it looks like he's saying, isn't it? All right, let's reset. Uh, I'm probably not going to be checking out every new animatronic in here because we still have to get all of the badges. So this video might end up being a little bit longer, but it's not just a badge guide. It is an update guide. So uh, I don't know what this is. What is that hair? Oh, what is that tail? What is this thing? What animal is this? It looks like seven different things. Uh, Will the Cotton Top Tamarin. Is that a real thing? Is that real? Let me know in the comments if that's real. I don't know. I like his hair. He looks like, uh, that chef. That guy, Fieri? Fiori? I don't know what his name is. Ferrari? Wait, no, that's a car. I don't know. Either way, he's got really cool hair. Uh, then we have Deactivated. He's looking at his shoes, too. This is a really weird animal. Alright, let's reset. I thought it was, like, a weird Freddy at first. But it's not a Freddy. It's like a, a Tamarin, apparently. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Listen, I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, yeah. Also, you can sprint. Whoops. Well, I guess we'll check out a, a emergency suit Scarlet Spider. Okay. Also, this is like the one thing that doesn't belong here. Like, all of these are like, you know, the typical morphs. Then you just got that. Uh, it, it, it doesn't look like it really belongs here. But, hey, who am I to judge? It's a cool Spider-Man, okay? Uh, then for the summer animatronics, it looks like it's all the animatronics but in swimsuits, which is very nice as well. Look, they got their swim trunks. They have their uh, swimsuits on as well. <gasps> He's not wearing a swimsuit. You didn't give the hand puppet a swimsuit? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then, of course, here are the badges right there. Uh, here's another uh, game pass right here as well. Very nice. All right, you know what? It's time to get these badges. Enough messing around. Uh, so the first one is called Old Memories. Do you remember the good times you had there? With a 59.9% rarity, uh, this one is, they're all pretty easy to get. Also, shout out to that guy. That's a, that's a cool guy, I gotta say, in my unbiased opinion. All right, anyway, uh, <laughs> All the badges are pretty easy to get. You just have to explore the map a little bit and you'll find them. 
Uh, so all of Memories is inside the pizzeria. We're gonna walk by the cardboard cutouts. Uh, they're not real, don't worry. Then when we're in the main lobby, you wanna turn right, go down this hallway. Then we're gonna turn left and right and left again until we're in the office right here. And now all you gotta do is run up and just step on slash touch this uh, very scary animatronic sitting here. And then you'll get the badge. It's that easy. It is that easy. Very nice. All right, for the next badge, what lurks below? Ever wonder what is under us? With a 53.4% rarity. This one, when you spawn in, you'll be facing the pizzeria. Turn around, and we're going to go to this pool area over here. Uh, what's it called? Public pool? I think so. So we're going to go inside. Also, that's a very weird shaped house. Oh, they're all shaped like that. What in the world? Uh, that's pretty bizarre. All right. Anyway, we're going to go in the pool. We're going to go for a little swim. <gasps> but we're not because there's a hole in the bottom of the pool. What is going on? Why is there a hole? And then you'll fall all the way down into the sewers. And you'll notice uh, there's some eyeballs staring at you. All you got to do is run up and touch this wall. And you will get the badge. Very easy. Very nice. See, this is what I'm saying. You just have to know where to look for them. And you'll find them. Easy. The next badge is called a stinging companion. A shiny friend who stays by your side. For this one, we have to go to the map again. All the badges are here in the map, by the way. Uh, when you're facing the pizzeria, turn left. And you can already see it over there in the distance. All you got to do is run up and step on it. Here we go, and boop, we did it. Is that a hat? I don't know what that is. That looks like a little hat, but I'm not sure. Either way, all you got to do is step on it and stand there, and you will get the badge. For the next one, a shadowy presence. Something is following you. Is it in your head? With a 37.5% rarity. To get this badge, you just have to face the pizzeria, turn to your right, and we're going to go around. So go around the pizzeria, go around this wall, and you can see it in the corner there, right under the tree. Very easy again. Just a pair of glowing eyeballs. All you got to do is step on them. And then, ladies and gentlemen, for the final badge, a glitch in the system. Where are you, and who is that? For this one, we're going to start facing the pizzeria again, because it's like, it's the center of town, so it's the easiest to explain. Uh, so, we're going to turn around. We You might have seen it when we were getting the badge in the pool, but we're going to go straight back, and you can already see it in the distance. That is where we're going. That little glowing arcade machine. We're going to run all the way down, all the way. What's a, what's an arcade machine doing in the middle of the road? Hmm? It says tag time. All you got to do is run up and touch it, and you'll be presented with this, uh, very complicated parkour obby. It is pretty hard, don't get me wrong, but I think, I think you can manage it. I think, I think we can do it. Even someone who's really bad at parkour like myself, uh, you can manage that. Very nice. Don't worry, nothing weird happens, at least from what I've noticed. Nothing just comes out and gets you. It's just, it's, it's just easy. Also, is my character freaking out? Do you guys see that? What? What is happening? Is that just in my game or is that... Is it me? I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. All you got to do is run up and touch this and you will get the badge. I'm out of here. That place is scary. Also, if you touch the ground, you die. So you don't want to do that. Unless you're leaving. Then I guess you do. Alright, so now it's time to check out our rewards. We're going to go in order from when we got the badges. So old memories will be first. Right here. Oh, what is this like the fixed version of that? Oh, I think it is. Oh, it's like the prototype. Wait, I want to go compare it. Because I'm assuming it's supposed to be this. But it's like, a, it's a prototype for it. I think that's Daisy, by the way. I'm pretty, oh yeah, that is Daisy. Oh wait, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Daisy. Anyway, it's like a prototype for Daisy. Or Spring Daisy, I guess. I keep forgetting I could just click that to see the name. Uh, but Spring Daisy has a perform. We have a deactivated, and there we go. Ah, what are those? Ah, 
Sorry, old meme. All right, so let's go ahead and reset. And let's check out the next couple of badges. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's go back into Morph Room and go all the way down. And now the next one is What Lurks Below, which is right here. Oh, look, they're in order now. Great. All right, so for this one, you get the sewer monster. Oh, he's scary. He's a sewer monster. That's awesome. He's all covered in, like, seaweed and, and moss and grass and whatever else that's supposed to be. Also, he's like the Spider-Man. They both look like they don't really belong here, but uh, they're here anyway, so we're not going to question it. Uh, there's no abilities. He's just a sewer monster. So let's reset and check out the next one. A stinging companion. So based off the description and based off what I saw with like a, a short glimpse, I think this is a Pokemon reference. I could be wrong. Oh, it absolutely is. This is 100% Beedrill from the Pokemon games. You can't convince me otherwise. Look at him. It is. Also, why does he have a... Oh, is that the Mega Stone? I thought it was an eyeball at first, but I think it's the Mega Stone from the Pokemon games. Beedrill looks really cool. I like him a lot. He's got a cool hat. His eyes look very nice as well. I wish I could get a good look at him, but he's freaking out. He's moving all over the place. Stand still. Or fly still, I guess, is probably the better word. All right, let's go ahead and reset again. We have two more morphs to check out. And then we'll be done. All right, the next one is a shadowy presence. So we're going to run in here. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, that's awesome. That is really cool. It is actually kind of hard to see. But it is still awesome either way. Look at that. Uh, this is just called the shadow. All it has is a twitch. Oh, what, what is it doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It's freaking out. All its arms and head and everything is just going crazy. That is really cool. Very nice. Also, uh, not to spoil, but it does. These two kind of look the same. Except one is green and one is not green. Uh, oh, wow, that is awesome. I do wish it was a little bit easier to see. Uh, I mean, it's not hard to see, but it, it's just, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm nitpicking. I don't know. But anyway, let's reset and check out the final animatronic, the one we got for a glitch in the system. Like I was saying, the badges are pretty easy to get in this game. Again, you just got to know where to look for them. So I am very excited to see what this game does next. All right, here we go. A glitch in the system. It looks like we have a virtual Daisy or virtual Daisy. Hey, I knew it. I knew it. Somehow I knew it. Uh, this one has a perform. Oh, look, even the hand puppet performs. Very nice touch. And then deactivated. Both of them are deactivated. And there we go. So that is it for this update video, and that is how you get all of the badges. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and comment down below. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. Also, whenever you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium or entering any kind of code, make sure you use star code Gallant. And that's about it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, I can't jump. Bye!